Hey everybody, welcome to day two of 30 tips in 30 days, my 30 day uh, VEDA challenge, which is vlogging every day in April. And today I wanna to talk to you about a quote that I learned a long time ago called rules without relationship breeds rebellion. Rules without relationship breeds rebellion. And the story that I remember that closely connects with this is this. One time there was a little boy in a classroom and the little boy just was messing around at his table and he was on, you know, standing on his chair and he's probably in third grade and he's coloring. He's, doing, he's basically not doing what the teacher's telling him to do. And the teacher says to him, says, little Johnny, you got to sit down right now. And of course, little Johnny looks at the teacher mean in the face and, and, uh, and not listening. And the teacher says it again. And Johnny's still doing his thing. And suddenly the teacher just stood up and said, Johnny, you need to sit down right now. And little Johnny looked at that teacher and said, uh, you know what? I I'm going to sit down, but I'm going to be standing up on the inside. <laughs> and so a lot of times that's what we see in our own students, right? They may be sitting down, but on the inside, they're standing up. There, there's an essence of rebellion, maybe because their parents made them come to church or maybe because they think it's all about the rules. Who knows, right? But here's the deal, though. What we, if we're going to measure, if our measurement is control or order or obedience, that's one thing. But wouldn't you rather have your kids do things out of love for you, for the youth ministry, for the time and the investment that you make? You see, kids will respond to the relationship versus the rules. In other words, we'll get kids who will simply do for us simply because of the kind of relationship we've had with them, whether that's taking them out to eat or whether that's being on trips with them or those kind of things. If you look at the way Jesus did it, Jesus had these significant relationships with all his disciples. You know, each one of them could have left if they wanted to. Each one could have just said, well, I'm done. I've had it with this and I'm out of here. Peter said one time, says, well, Lord, to who else, who else shall we go? And that speaks a lot to the kind of relationship Jesus had with his own disciples. If you look at the fact that he had Peter, James, and John that he took away with him often to do various tasks and things like that. If you look at the feeding of the 5,000 where everybody was at, he used Andrew in a very special way about getting the lunch and feeding the, the you know, finding, you know, the food to multiply. You know, uh, Jesus was with them on the boat when the, when the storm came, right, and was sleeping, but he was there. But here's the deal, though. When we look at kids and we're looking at kids and saying, where are these kids at? How come they're rebelling on the inside? How come they're there, but they're not really there? You know, how come they're in a seat of listening or being obedient, but they're really not engaging? And I think we have to do a relationship audit. Think about the kids who are not coming to your youth group right now, the kids who are just bailing. Do a little relationship audit and ask yourself, what kind of relationship do I have with them? Am I asking them to simply come to church out of the rules? Or can I get them maybe to commit on a different level, on a relationship level, that they'll come because I ask, simply because I ask them to come and be a part? And so as we begin to do this and unfold this in our own ministries, uh, I think we'll find that we'll have kids slowly start to sit down on the inside and start to begin to say, look, that Jesus... Uh, uh, in us is calling us to a different kind of relationship rather than just obedience to the rules. So that is tip number two. I hope that you enjoyed that. Please let me know. I'd love to know about uh, your ministry. What kind of kids do you see rebelling in your group? And is it because maybe you don't have a significant relationship with them? So please leave me some comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys and I will see you guys tomorrow on the uh, VEDA challenge and tip number three.